oh my god i was in a minister's conference some two months ago and my message to them was that see some of us preachers even preachers we need to go back to the place where we first believed uh, do you understand what I'm talking about? Because a lot of ministers have moved from the first place that they first believe. Right now for them it's about lights. It's about AC. Do you understand what I'm talking about? It's about all the bling bling. They've moved from where they first started. The first day I heard, a preacher said, I'm not going to come for a meeting. Because they didn't write a letter. My heart broke. I said, hey. I said, I can't even imagine Paul be invited for a meeting and Paul says I'm not coming because they didn't write official letter. I can't imagine it. I can't, I can't think of somebody who we went to a place they said should not come and preach and they beat him. He brought him outside the city. Then he went back there. Is it that person you will not say eh, please come and preach for us. Come and bless us. And will not say if you don't write letter I'm not coming. If the attitude we possess these days in our stewardship to God is what they had, the gospel will never have gotten to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It will never get to you. Never, never get to you. Because they will have done the gospel out of comfort. But it was not comfortable for them. Some of them died. Some of them were stoned to death. Are you listening to me? Some of them preach in lack. Some of them preach in hunger and in fastings. You understand what I'm talking about? Either they have, they don't have. They continue to do the work of the Lord. Either they will live or die. They continue to do the work of the Lord. We must go back to the place where we first started. Are you listening to me? 